Dan's actually going to do the honors tonight, but we do want to say that this is the, probably the only time in the Sutton family that a secret has been kept. <laughs> so we want, to, we want to celebrate the secret, too. We have a book to present to you that has the poem and some special pictures that your mothers worked very hard to gather in your honor. But uh, I'm going to turn it over to Nanda to, to celebrate the excerpts from the different poets in our family. Once upon a time, seven years or so ago, Art and Abby's friendship began to grow. It took a twist, it took a turn, for there was something special they had to learn. Their love is deep, their love is true, and now today they've become one, no longer two. There were lots of fun times with our cuz, frat parties and concerts where we might catch a buzz. He was once Barney and got smacked in the face. Sometimes he checked out sorority girls dressed in lace. He liked to jam out to run DMC, driving the tiny hatchback with no AC. He was brave enough to teach Nan to drive and liked to catch the Almond Brothers live. At the beach, he's great at building sculptures from sand. And on moving day, he's glad to lend a hand. For Wednesday night dinner with Edith, he would not be late. And now she's smiling from heaven at Abby, his mate. Abby is, or was, a vegetarian. <laughs> Artist was, or is, a meditarian. <laughs> One is an actress showing the bar, the other Eastern Elizabethan, heavy on the lard cooking, that is. Abby known at home for plays such as Mac the Knife and Bloody Mary. Artist for taxes, but in the East, he did not tarry. Abby's drama led her to plays at Barter or Durham Town. Artist with his animals, cats, dogs, even a wolfhound. As time goes by, we often forget the many memories our minds let slip. We remember how clever and creative artists can be. He was the only person we knew with an upside down Christmas tree. <laughs> he has helped most of us move from time to time, always with a bit of charm. Mm -hmm. Only once did he show up with a broken arm. <laughs> he loves to joke and kid around and even took classes to become a clown. Artist cooks like a chef with a big tall hat. Wow, Abby, how really cool is that? <laughs> we are so excited for Artis and Abby and hope they will be forever happy. Kickball champion, winner of five trophies. You can count on Artis to bring home the groceries. Willing to lend a hand, Abby has claimed one hell of a man. Artis likes to jump, dive, stretch, and flip for the kickball. Abby cheers, but he's the biggest winner of them all. For he finally chose the beauty right in front of his face. He can show Abby how to be in first place. When artist falls down and bumps his head, now all of Kick and Grass will call Abby instead. <laughs> One fine day in May 2011, the angels fluttered their wings way up in heaven and played on their hearts a tune so sweet that all the birds on earth said, tweet, tweet. <laughs> the angels danced around in the sky so blue and said, let's make a special dream come true. At about that time on the earth below, a blue-eyed, fair-skinned, blonde lassie did go. To the North Carolina Department of Revenue she went to determine why a certain letter was sent. <laughs> she had prepared her tax return, sent it in on time, and was certain she didn't owe them a dime. When she finally arrived, she signed in and waited her turn until she was summoned by a name, a man named Artist Monroe Moser III. He said, how may I help you? And she replied, I received this letter and I'm mystified. <laughs> he ha she handed him the letter and he got right to work to try to determine where the problem did lurk. In just a little while, he said with a twinkle in his eye, now don't you worry, he thought she was about to cry. I can fix this problem as quick as a wink, then how about lunch, what do you think? <laughs> 
A southern belle dares not to accept the first quest to go out, so she said, thank you, sir, but I have some business to see about. She coyly made her exit and went on her way to run errands for the rest of the day. After a couple of weeks had passed, the young taxman did ask, I wonder if another chance can be with that lovely young lass. So he looked her up, he looked up her phone number and dialed without delay, hoping this call would liven up his day. She answered on the first ring, her voice did fairly sing. He replied, this is Artis Moser. I was just wondering if I could come over. <laughs> Thank you, she said, that will be just fine. And so they decided upon a time. To three places they went to eat. The last one was for a chocolate treat. When he took her home, her cats met them at the door. Meow, meow, don't forget us, we want some more. <laughs> they said their goodbyes and off he went to Swananoa, thinking that was time well spent. More phone calls followed, more times to go out. Concerts, ballroom dancing, the state fair, and yes, even to Weight Watchers they went. <laughs> More and more time together they playfully spent. One summer day, a trip to Moxville they made. To meet Abby's parents must not be delayed. Aunt Janie served a nice lunch at the farm, and five-year-old Charlotte came over to work her charm. <laughs> she took, took charge of their visit and showed them around. To see Rufus, her pet goat, chickens, dogs, and cats, the animals did abound. When it came time to leave, Charlotte said, I believe you need to stay. Abby and Artis assured her they would be back another day. Day after day, there was, there was more time together. It seemed their hearts grew light as a feather. They spent time with his mother, Lynn, and also his dad and Jen. They made trips all over to visit their kin. It is surprising how many places they have been. A year passed and they looked at each other and said, we really do have fun together. But what about the pets? They haven't met each other yet. <laughs> so they arranged for a visit for Griffin and Persephone to visit Murphy, Dandelion, Ticker, and Max. They hoped with that encounter they could relax. The visit went surprisingly well, and what would follow only time would tell. In June of 2012, artists said, well, it's time to take action. For each other, we have a great attraction. So off to Moxville they did speed. A talk with Abby's parents was his need. Artis told them, your daughter is the one I want to marry. I do love her so very. Your blessing in this matter I do require. To wed your dear Abby is my desire. At one of his parties, while people were having a blast, Artis sees a figure from the past. Abby was there, looking so fine. Artis thought to himself, she's got to be mine. <laughs> Artis is known for the parties he plans, and Abby follows along as the macho man. <laughs> Artis as Ric Flair can walk the aisle, but Abby is there to add all the style. People will come from near and far, so many so you can barely park your car. <laughs> but whether it's a luau in the woods or a Halloween theme, by the end of the night, the karaoke screams. We hope Artis and Abby, we hope Artis and Abby will continue to plan because the parties you host will always be grand. We think of Artis, brother, son, and uncle extraordinaire, now wed to dear Abigail, sister, daughter, and aunt so fair. They bring to each other fierce loyalty, friendship, laughter, and wonder, wonderful family a taste for the dramatic, a flair for fun. We can't wait to see the parties to come. It's the wedding of the century, of that Abby made sure, and so very fitting for a love this pure. We are all overjoyed by the union of these two. May blessings abound for them through and through. We love you. Thank you. Thank you.